Paul followed a routine that he had personally developed using homemade weights that many times came from the junkyard. One of the most famous pictures depicting Paul's equipment were those showing him working out with a set of iron wheels attached to a huge steel bar which he used in practicing his squats. Most on earth could not even squat down with the tremendous wheels once, but Paul squatted with the wheels on a daily basis over and over again, working with his huge 36-inch thighs. Other homemade weights show up in his old 1955 film footage taken during one of his daily workouts, such as these huge 55-gallon steel drums filled with concrete and weights suspended from a tree in the backyard with the use of chains. After witnessing his lifts personally or later on film, many describe Paul Anderson as just pure brute strength. Not only must we take into account the manner in which he threw the weights around, but we must look at the manner in which he prepared for these lifts and the support of equipment he failed to take advantage of. Lifting experts cringe and shake their heads in amazement when they look at old photos and footage of Paul walking on stage and without any warm-up squat world record weight, wearing an old pair of tennis shoes, or worse yet, no shoes at all, and no knee wraps. In many photos, Paul was shown wearing street clothes and dress shoes, as if he had just walked off the street to try his hand at a lift. Today's lifting suits were non-existent during his time, and though available, very seldom did he wear a weightlifting belt. Later in life, he usually